Hi everybody, my name is Jonathan, um, I'm 55 years old. Uh, I live in Brighton, however I grew up in Windsor or near Windsor. Moved down to Brighton in 20, 2001 um, when my wife decided where we lived wasn't particularly interesting uh, and I agreed with her so, so here we are. Um, we live two miles away from the site here. Um, been married 20 years this year and we have two children. My son is uh, 17 and he's studying for his A-levels at college currently. And my daughter is 14 or will be 14 next month uh, and she's at the local high school here. Um, interest wise, big football fan and my team is Spurs. So I joined uh, Harwood Brighton Jaguar Land Rover about 20 months ago in July. Uh, 2022. Uh, I joined as the a parts supervisor and uh, we work in a, a very busy department with seven people um, but it's uh, it's always good fun uh, and challenging uh, at times uh, but also I've taken on the role here at Brighton of the uh, BIG champion which is something that I've really enjoyed becoming involved with. So why did I choose Harwoods? Um, well, I've been aware of Harwoods as a company for many years, particularly since moving down south. Um, I've always been attracted to the company in terms of what it represents, the brands, the fantastic uh, cars uh, that it represents. And I saw this building being built about two years prior to it opening. Um, it's two miles from where I live and there's a supermarket just across the road, which is a, a supermarket that we would use and we'd see the building uh, gradually being built and um, I sort of said to myself if an opportunity comes up at this business Jaguar Land Rover is a fantastic brand and one that I'm really attracted to um, I always said that if an opportunity came up uh, I would I would go for it and uh, that's what happened and here I am so not many people know this about me but I can actually speak uh, a little bit and write a little bit of, of Japanese um, about 30 years ago I had plans to move uh, to Japan and, and work and live there for a few years however a couple of months before uh, my planned leaving uh, I met my wife and had a decision to make so uh, I decided to stay uh, and got married to my wife and uh, I carried on studying and ended up with a, a GCSE in Japanese, grade B, if I remember rightly, uh, which has been of absolutely no use to me whatsoever. So since working uh, at Harwood's JLR, obviously met and worked with a, a lot of fantastic people. Um, and I think that's uh, true across the business or has been my experience so far. But the one single thing that I've really enjoyed is becoming involved with the um, uh, the BIG project. Um, it's given me a chance to get involved locally with uh, issues in other parts of the business, which has been quite interesting for me. Uh, and also working with the wider BIG champions team, I've met some really great people there and everybody is fully engaged with making improvements for the business and, and, and driving some meaningful change, which has been really, really engaging for me. So um, my, my interest in cars started when my father took me to a, a, a motor show in Earl's Court, London, and I saw the original Triumph TR7, which uh, you might not think of as a, a fantastic car, but it actually sparked my interest. And from that point, I had a real interest in British um, sports cars. Um, I did eventually own a, a Triumph TR7. Uh, it wasn't the best experience, but uh, it, all the same, it fulfilled that particular dream. Um, and since then I've earned a few others, including a, a Norfolk Mustard uh, Lotus Elan SE, which was really, really good fun uh, to drive. But um, if I had the choice, the favourite car would have to be British, have to be a sports car. I would go for uh, an Aston Martin, uh, because I think Aston Martin is the epitome of, of prestige British sports cars. Uh, and the particular car I'd go for is the Vantage Roadster which I think is a beautiful looking car. Uh, and if, if I had to choose a car for me to drive, that would be the one. A 
Okay, so I think I'd like to think that there's a little bit of all of the post-its uh, in me, but it's the two that really stand out, uh, the blue post-it, uh, which is about teamwork. Um, I think it's really important that, that, that business functions as a team, whether as an overall team or individual departments, and that we don't have any uh, competing priorities where we can avoid them. Um, but the one that really aligns with me most is the yellow post-it about grabbing responsibility, um, because I get a lot from uh, identifying problems, fixing problems, putting in different ways to do things um, for the benefit of everybody.